was going to film in here, but it doesn't look like the lighting is very good. Plus, I'm holding this. It's a hot one today. It's a doozy. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about a new hair product that I've been using. <clears throat> I'll tell you about it, but I think I'm going to go outside and tell you about it. I know it's a little hot. It's going to be a doozy. It's not, the temperature's not done climbing to its peak, but maybe I should go out there right now before it climbs to its peak. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is outside. I have to show you. As soon as I came out here, the breeze started. I just asked Google what the current temperature is, and she said, Look at I love watching these move. She says it's 100, no, 103 degrees. Wait, was it 102, 103? I guess that doesn't make a difference, right? <laughs> They're both hot. Anyway, the temperature has reached its, its peak. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk to you guys for a little bit out here. I have my hat on because I haven't done my roots I have not done my roots and last night I washed my hair and went to bed with it wet so I'm having one of those type of hair days. I'm going to try to set you up right here. Current temperature. My nails are awful. I haven't done them and I've been breaking them because I have been gardening but that it doesn't feel that bad right now because it's breezy. I'm I'm loving that it's breezy. I love I put my glasses on. You guys, I did try to put a little bit of face makeup on. Trying to make myself look decent for you all. I guess this part's gonna be chatty. Honestly, I guess this whole Sunday vlog or Sunday stories is going to be chatty because it's been one of those weeks. Do you guys ever have that where you're just, mm, I don't even know what to call it. It's it just, I got a lot done, but I wasn't mentally feeling it. I don't know how to say it. I guess, I don't know. Anyway, on the first day of summer, you guys, I, I probably have said this before if you follow me at all. I've probably told you about last year when I, I think it was last year, or maybe a little bit longer. Uh, um, oh yeah, that feel, it feels better. Um, that I cut off cable, cable TV. The internet server offers a cable app and I got it for mom. It's like 20, $20, $20 or $25 a month for cable, basic cable, basically. It has a lot more channels than your regular basic, but I got it for her because she likes to watch the news. I don't. So I don't watch the news. I, I guess I said all that just to tell you, I don't watch the news. So I don't watch the weather. Google is my, I have to ask what's the temperature or what's going on. First day of summer, 5.30 in the morning. I woke up to some crashing booms. I mean, they were booms. I was in a dead sleep. I was probably, I think I was actually dreaming. And I thought a family member in the house must have fallen down into a wall or something. I, I don't know. It was just one of those... Ah, you know, you're in a, in a sleep, a dead sleep, and you're abruptly woken up by some very loud booms. And it wasn't just loud. I could feel the walls like you could hear. I don't know. I can't describe that part. But I, I jumped up and I opened my bedroom door and I stood there and I listened to see if I could hear anybody say help or or hear somebody grunting or something if they did fall. It was silent, completely silent. Thank God. I go back and I lay down 
and then again it, it was worse it was like, like even stronger and louder and i literally felt the back wall where my headboard's at just tremble i don't even know how to describe it, but it was just and then i don't have um any barrier or what do you call that some of the rooms in my house have like the middle of the house has a regular ceiling with insulation and whatever you know but each end of the house like the living room part and my bedroom the master bedroom it's high beam high beam and it doesn't have the insulation that the other rooms have I could have sworn that that storm cloud was directly above the house because I felt like the, the ceiling in my bedroom was just going to shake off. I know I probably sound a little extreme, but that's what I felt like during that time. Again, I jump up, I'm scared to death, and then I started hearing all the hail. We got hail. I opened up the back door. Uh, but she was outside. I had to literally turn the alarm off that night prior to the storm to turn the alarm off. I think it was like three in the morning, but she wanted to go out and I let him out. I turned the alarm off. I put him out and I turned the alarm back on and went right back to sleep. And, um, but she's a little bit, he's, he's older now. And sometimes he has, you know, bedtime boo-boos, I call them. So when he wants to go outside, he starts whimpering. I, I, I put him out. It's way better than cleaning up after him. But I know to you, Myra, I'm just rambling on. So Butchie was outside when the storm hit, and he was scared to death. I felt so bad. I'm going to, I actually got a clip. It was shaky just like this i'm not a very good videographer but i'll share it with you and i was kind of like startled i i i'm walking in the, around the house talking i'll share it with you So we're having a weird thunderstorm and I swear, I swear the, the last booms and it was booms, I swear it was right above us. We have hail, the walls shook, my bed shook. I've never, that strong here, never. I put a couple of clips together because I was trying to make an effort to vlog, um, but honestly, it just it just didn't happen this week. I did a little bit of rearranging in my greenhouse section. I've taken some things and I've repotted them in the ground out in the back garden so anyway this is it I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit what are you doing princess 
What the princess doing? You don't want me to Oh, you just don't want to be bugged. Okay. I've been working on the garden. I've been working on some other things in the house, trying to get you know things done and fixed. I literally have to work on my bedroom because I have to have a plumber come out and work on the shower back there. And he has to go in through my bedroom, walk through my closet to get in there. And you all know by the clips that I share with you, it, and I just, my bedroom is not a priority for me. I'll clean up all the front of the house where I think company will see, you know, the front living room, the dining room, the kitchen, the, the guest bathroom. But back there in my bedroom, I normally don't care. So anyway, I've got to <coughs> work on that. And the fact that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm going to try to dig deep. I don't, I doubt I will film it because I'm always, even though I, I live, I keep it like that, I am bashful about it. Tell me down below if you guys want to see me do any kind of like declutter or organizing because I am itching to take my vanity apart and throw away all my makeup and just keep the pieces that I love maybe in a makeup bag instead of six drawers. I have a lot. Plus I have a bunch of stuff in baskets above it. Anyway, I um, digress, don't I? I changed my name on Instagram. Let me show you mine. I don't know if you could see it. It says Patty. AKA it Patty underscore AKA Toonie 301. Now, for those of you that say that you can't find my channels or you or my channel, my YouTube channel, it, it's because many, many moons ago, let me go back in here. In fact, let me see when I actually started many moons ago when I first started my YouTube channel. I couldn't figure out what kind of name. The only reason why I started the channel was so that I could hit a like on the videos that I was watching. It was when I, I had gotten injured and I was recuperating. And my daughter-in-law, at that time, one of my sons and his wife were living here. And she was like, oh, she was showing me YouTube and things like that. She kind of introduced me to the digital world. And I was so happy she did because that's when I, I was able to watch Downton Abbey in on, on a laptop, laying on my bed in a comfortable way because it was really hard at that time for me to sit on the couch. So I started this channel in Jan, on January 24th, 2013. So back then, I couldn't figure out what, what am I going to do for a channel name? And now I'm going to take you back even further, where I got the Toonie from. Way back when the computers were first coming out, um, I bought a computer. It was a rebuilt computer, and I paid over $2,000 for a rebuilt computer. And it was one of those prehistoric ones with the great big TV like heavy um, monitor. Anyway, I didn't know how to, my kids were still in school. They were living here. I didn't know how to turn the darn thing on or off. And back then when I got that, my uh, bestie, she used to come over and we used to go into chat rooms. I'm dating myself now. And she got totally hooked on that chat room thing. She'd come over here every day after work. And, oh, there's a kitty kitty. Hi, baby. Anyway, and we had to pick, uh, like, handles, chat room handles. And that was my handle. I remember I used to chat, have friends in Canada. And I met a lot of people in those chat rooms. We've even 
traveled that way to go meet them and they've traveled here. That was way, way, way back in the day. So fast forward to when I was trying to create a YouTube account so that I can thumbs up my favorite people that I was watching because you couldn't do it if you didn't have an account. So I, I didn't know what to name it. And I, I said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll use Toonie, T-O-O-N-I-E. And then I threw in the number 301 because it was like a gazillion Toonies in there. Um, apparently a Toonie is, and see, when I created that name initially, way back in the day, I didn't know what it was. And that's how I, I attracted a lot of Canadian friends because they were like, a toonie is a coin, a toonie, a Canadian coin. It's a money. But anyway, so that's my history. So let's go back. I tell you, I can digress, you guys. I can totally digress. So that's why you can't find me when you're looking for patty or patty cakes when I try to change it to that. I kept it. That is the... channel let me go back in there into my youtube youtube channel address see now i can't find it on my i could find it easy on my laptop but not here so let, let's go back to the instagram so on instagram i changed it instagram lets you change your name so i changed it and there it is there you can find me there and i put the underscore Tooney 301 so for you guys I'm trying to make an effort to to um, put stuff in here um, I did take a lot of personal things out after my niece passed away I took a lot of personal pictures out of here um, she's the one that well her sister is the one that helped me download Instagram and my niece Alexandria the one that passed away she taught me how to do um, Selfies and she was like she was such a sweet she was a bubbly wonderful girl. I'm digressing again you guys I'll, I'll go back. So anyway, that is my My um, come on There it is there now in here, I, I'm not in here all the time, but I do check in here. And there is a young lady who I adore. Her name is, let me, let me get her. Vanessa Amaro. Do you guys, if you do, if you watch Instagram, do you follow her? Have you seen her? She's beautiful. Her and her husband, they um, clean houses. And, I mean, this girl is like a complete success. She's from Texas. She's a success story. She started filming with permission of her clients. They're cleaning and putting it on Instagram, and she just exploded. But she was showing this. <laughs> And from this to this, and finally from this to this. I stopped losing so much hair, and I'm going to tell you the two products that completely revolutionized my hair, which looks like this today. In the middle of the pandemic, I ordered this oil from Fable and Main from Sephora. I got it with my own money. I put it on, yes. and I was like, I'm going to transform my hair from this. You turned it off. She made me buy it. So I bought it. I bought this one right here, the hair mask. And then I got the hair oil. They're both used differently. This one, can't read it. The it says to apply desired amount of a product from the tip of the roots on a damp, on your damp hair. I can't even read. The writing is itty bitty. Let me show you. That's why I'm struggling. It's like itty bitty. Anyway, it's saying to apply as much as you want to damp hair. And then you leave it on for a while. I think 
I left mine on for like 30 minutes. I used it twice. It, it says to, you know, use it like once a week, but it stimulates the scalp and it helps your hair to not only grow, but to stop falling out. And I have a problem with my hair falling out. Now this oil, this one, it's, it says it's a hair oil, a fuel. And it has like a little dropper. Like this. I love how this, the scent, it does have a scent. I don't have a problem with scents when it comes to cosmetics and all that, as long as it's not too strong. But this has a nice scent, this one. Oh my gosh. It smells like coconutty, and that's what it looks like. I got mine from Sephora. I treated myself to some hair care, and this is what I got. I'm trying to show it to you by not showing my fingernails because I'm going to try to use this as a, as a thumbnail. I think I told you guys a while back I was going to talk to you about this. You know, a long time ago, I, I mean, before, I think there was internet way back then, but nobody had computers or internet service at their house as a regular monthly utility bill. Mm -mm. This was way back in the day. I used to have, I've always had long hair. I used to buy this product called, I think it's Tail and Mane. It's a horse shampoo. Have you guys ever heard of that? Let me see. Tail and Mane. Let's see if my memory works. That must be it. Let's get a picture. Because it says you can buy it at Walmart. Yep, here it is. It's mane and tail shampoo. I had it backwards. I'm so dyslexic. Anyway, this stuff right here. And I'm assuming this stuff works the way this does. This stuff made my hair grow fast because back when I was younger, I was ballsy and I gave myself some weird haircuts, weird hair colors. And then when, after I cut my hair, I was like, oh, I want my long hair back. Somebody told me, get this stuff. And I did. And that stuff worked. It works good. I love hearing that. So anyway, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to film anymore. I know I'm going to stick the clips that I try to do. I got you too close. The clips that I try to put together. I don't know where I'm going to put it in this vlog, but I'm going to put it in there. Sorry. I'm so sorry for not putting an effort this week. I'll try to get it. We'll see where this ends, but if this is the close of it, of my video, I love you guys, and I wish you a wonderful, a wonderful new week that we are entering. I love starting the weeks off. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to start, in fact, I do have to do that today. I need to go in there and start riding on having my daily planner. I got some nice little booklets from Dollar Tree. You don't need to go buy an expensive daily planner. Dollar Tree has awesome stuff and I've picked up a couple things and I need to get my life in order. And that daily planner is going to do it for me. Love you.